But okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all a story about the time that um I almost went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so um for years, for like 23 years, how I paid my bill was working in retail, retail management. Most of those years were I was in management. So um I my first actual store manager job. So it was hard because I was really, really young. And if you've ever been in a, in a leadership role wherever you work and you're young, it can be kind of hard because if you have people older than you working for you, even the people younger than you work for you. So um just a normal day, came to work, la la la, knowing my duties, and my district manager come in. And I'm like, hey girl, how you doing? What's going on today? And I'm like, well, she acting kind of weird. Like, why is she acting like that? And so, you know, I went on did my opening duties or whatever I need to do. Store open, I had my associate there, I'm just working. And I'm doing my, hey, how you doing? Talking to all the customers, talking. Talking to her, but she don't really talk to me. Like, what in the hell? Like, did I do something? I don't know. And so they do audits all the time. So I didn't really think she was looking through all my paperwork, just looking through the stuff, and I'm okay because I knew I didn't do anything. Hopefully, you know, I had crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's. But she was really acting weird, and I did not know. And. The, I was at the Maker Mall, so and I was I didn't even pay attention that the mall um, cops kept walking by, and I'm like, what in the world? So um, I opened that day, so I'm gonna say the name, but anyway, <laughs> she um she was going through all the paperwork, looking up at me, and I'm going talking to her like, do you have to go to another store today, or are we have a conference call? She was still acting weird. And so, um, finally, um, the next person supposed to come at 1 o'clock. So finally, at like 12, 15, 12, 20, she said, Nikki has been stealing. Huh? So, all the while she was doing her audits and looking through the stuff, she had, um, Nikki had been red flagged. But Nikki was not the one that they thought was stealing. They thought it was me. Because what Nikki was doing was she was coming in, this was, oh my God, this was a long time ago. Like, we were like really, even though we had computers, we were really transitioning into technology, so it was really crazy. We still clocked in by writing in our time. Um, oh, oh, they tell me how old I am. But, um, <laughs> so she would come in and type in my number and she would return it and say, and taking the cash. So it really told a lot of things that were going on, like with sales and everything, like why we weren't making money, because it helped with them these people money and taking away from the sales. So in actuality, my district member came to fire me, came to lock me up, and it was not me. I got a little bit more time, so when, I forgot what I told y'all her name was, but anyway. <laughs> when she came, when she came to work, let, this lets you know how people, they're guilty, and the guilt show, but he died with your problem. And the thing is, say, um, sometimes people do a little something strange for a little change. When she came in, when she came in, she immediately knew what was going on. The first question she walked, I was in the back of the store, so I could see everything happening when she walked in. <laughs> Am I about to be fired today? And I'm like, oh, girl, what you talking about? But yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's the time that I almost went to jail. It was not my fault, but I will say, don't, you can't trust everybody, and just make sure that you don't take the downfall for somebody else. I know that's <laughs>